Hey everyone, he needs 20. Been a bit. Uh, it's 9 a.m. Wow, well, 901. 10 16. 20 and 19. Uh, so I got something cool. This right here. So a few, actually two weeks ago now, it was, yeah, two weeks ago to the day, um, I ordered this, which is the first, um, what's the word? Fan merch, I think you can call it. Like, it's like, I ordered it from a fan store who made content for a game. I guess that's called fan merch. You know, it's like if someone made a uh, a choke of a plushie and then you bought it like that. Uh, I've never bought anything like that before. Um, usually, if I ever buy anything, it's like official stuff, like the uh, um, like Amiibo. I have a few, not too many, or just you know like that. I mean, the closest equivalent I think I bought was like a. I forget if it was a sushi cat or a blue elephant, which were like these armor games things that I bought on their store. It was one or the other. And I bought it because it was cute. And then I gave it to my sister. I think she, she's, yeah, she probably still has it. It's really cute though, so. Anyway, I got these because I'm an idiot and I couldn't resist, but. Eh. I also meant to buy frames. I'm gonna do that after I finish this video. I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy some frames so I could frame these. I wish that the person who sold these, like, packaged, like, a frame deal. Like, pay, like, I don't know, $10 extra for three frames or something. Or, or like, pay $5 extra for for each frame that you want. You know, like, a deal like that, I, I would have taken it. You crazy? This, this is very hard to open. I should have gotten some scissors here before I started. Had a feeling. So, yeah. I think these things are really cool to share and also it'll hopefully turn your attention to a really cool artist who's like really chill on Twitter. I really regret not having scissors with me. Oh, I know what I got. Yeah, my solution was to grab a pen. I do have scissors nearby, but I don't want to go get them. Gosh. I can't remember the last time I had something like this. Anyway, so it's just it's posters. Three posters of three characters from three different games. I was originally going to make it from one game, a relatively recent game that came out. But I thought, eh, I think it would be cooler to have variety. And also I couldn't choose three. Like I was torn between four the whole time. Like when I was deciding on one game, I'm like, oh, there are four characters I would love. And I was like, never mind. I'll just change it to multiple games. And then when I was doing multiple games, there were four characters that I really loved. So, uh, yeah. Part of me was like, well, then just get four. But I'm like, you know what? Shut up. Also, the artist was having, like, a two-for-one deal at the time. So if you, you could buy two, uh, two posters, you get one free. Hoorah. Okay, here they are. Took a bit to open. Which also means that it'll be fun to put these back in here. Whoa. They're honestly a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Not that that's a bad thing. Let's see. Posters. Where's the freaking The side that's on top. Ooh. Oh wow, they feel thick. Like it's not just paper. Yeah, I'll definitely need frames. Unrolling these is not hard. I guess this is what happens when you spend two months of your life in a tube. You become this. Oh, wait. There's the camera. You become this. Yeah, there are three. I was a little concerned because when I got the shipping notice, it only no it, it mentioned two posters, not three. Okay, so first up. I think this is the one that I choose chose to get for free. It's Zelda, the Breath of the Wild Zelda. I think she's holding the Master Sword, right? Yep. Oh man, that, it looks really freaking good. Like when I look at this artist's art on Twitter, I'm like, it looks great, but like, man, I wish my camera was better. 
I would take some screenshots, but it's not going to be easy given how round they are. Mm. Looks great though. So yeah, Zelda's Uno. Also, yeah, they're all ladies. Sorry. I almost got the Link one, but I just like the Zelda one more. The Link one looked great. I just I I I like the Zelda one more. She's holding the Master Sword. It's red. Okay, numero dos. Boop. Tifa. Because, of course. And also, Final Fantasy VII's a thing, so you know. I mean, it's always been a thing, but the remake's a thing now. Gosh, this one looks great. Is this original Tifa or remake Tifa? I think it's remake Tifa. I mean, they're not super different. It's not like it matters, but she looks great, too. I mean, I'm not even kidding. This guy's art is fucking phenomenal when i went on his shop and he showed all this he had he was also selling wall scrolls and i was this close to buying one they were slightly more expensive than the posters uh but he didn't have wall scrolls for everything uh, it was uh i think he had like maybe six or something as a scroll and then everything else was in different series of posters and also some charms but i'm like you know what i'm good i i just want and this is the main one this is the reason that i bought these things this one so, uh, that is gorgeous. All right, so, it's Emperor Edelgard von Resveld, uh, Timeskip Edelgard. He had pictures of Timeskip Edelgard, Dimitri Claude, and then pre-skip Edelgard, Dimitri Claude. And I, of course, went with the Emperor Edelgard because it looks fucking amazing. Like, once again, not that the other ones look bad. It's just, I really wanted the time skip one. And I was, see, I was originally going to get three three houses characters. Uh, it wasn't going to be Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude, though. Uh, Dimitri's okay. I don't know anything about uh, Claude yet. I have not played his route yet because so many other games have happened. But I think I was going to get Edelgard, Shamir, and he has a Catherine one. I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted the Catherine one, though, because he has a Petra one, too, that looked really cool. So I was kind of, like, torn between those two. And then I was like, well, why don't I just get Edelgard and Shamir, and then I get, like, Tifa. But then I'm like, but then it's weird to have two, three houses people, and then one Final Fantasy person. So at that point, I decided, let's just get one of each. And then at that point, it was between uh, Tifa, Edelgard, Zelda, and Link. And then I was just like, ah, I don't know. They're all great. They're all amazing. But, uh... Yeah, so, I mean, for those who don't know, who haven't been following me on Twitter, which is totally fine. I've been meaning to talk about Three Houses, like, in a video or something, or maybe stream a little bit of it, record a tiny bit of it, just talking about it, because I'm on, like, my third playthrough. Uh, the Black Eagle House, Crimson Flower, is my favorite route in the entire game. So far, anyway. I haven't done, I haven't done the Golden Deer route yet, and uh, I was spoiled on the other, other one, but that's okay. Uh, Blue Lions was alright. It's just, I've, this was the first one I, this is the one that I, this is the route that I wanted to do since the game was announced, and then I was not disappointed. Uh, so yay. It, they, gosh, they're so freaking amazing. Like this, where do, where do I move it? Wow, this guy's stuff is fantastic. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that off because it's like, it's really, really nice. Apparently this came from what, Singapore? Um, yeah, so that's really it. So, uh, I'm gonna be streaming, uh, Code Bane after this goes up, so if anyone's interested, yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks everybody. I'll try to be a little more regular with videos. I have a week off of work coming up, so maybe I'll be able to record something here and there. Who knows? We'll see. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you all having a good day. I hope you thought those were cool. I'll have a link to that guy's Twitter, uh, in my, uh description uh his store i believe is closed now unfortunately um he's thinking he mentioned in a tweet in a tweet about opening it again i think in december it was either december or november i don't think it was october uh for a short amount of time so if you like what you saw go find his twitter and look at the rest of his stuff like the rest of his art maybe you'll see something you really like it's really really great stuff I think each of the posters is fifteen dollars, uh, and since it was two for one, it was thirty. Uh, and then shipping, I think, made it thirty-nine. 
something like that. I definitely know I didn't pay over 40. It was somewhere between 30 and 40. Um, 36 to 39, I think. So, yeah. Amazing. So I'm going to go on Amazon get some frames. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Till then, hasta.